So today we have my cheap version of my top 10 summer designer fragrances list. I try to do these every season because a lot of times my summer designer lists will trend in the mid range and above price range. So not necessarily affordable. That's just kind of one of those things where a lot of the fragrances that I end up thinking about and reaching towards happen to be from the bigger brands like YSL and Dior and Armani and that sort of thing. And they're gonna come with a, a higher cost even at discounters. But don't get me wrong, I still love a good cheapie, especially for days where I'm just gonna be running errands, doing stuff around the house, right? Just gonna be hanging out and don't really wanna spray on anything that's super expensive. So all these are gonna be around $40 and under. That's kind of the, the price range I'm looking at here, making them very affordable. And of course, that is only at discounters. Retail price is gonna be a no-go for these. So with that being said, I will drop links to all these down below. Let's go and get this one kicked off at number 10 with Legend Spirit by Mont Blanc. This one's gonna usually come in at around 30 for 100 milliliter. And I point this out every time, but I, I like to do so. Uh, these tester bottles do come with a cap, so um, I don't know if you can really see, it's kind of too bright, but it says tester and it does come with a cap. So you could save a few extra bucks and still get that full presentation look just with a more plain box. Watery notes, grapefruit, bergamot, lavender, um, Invictus Aqua. So this one smells like basically. This is sum it up really easily. Now, for the most part here, and I guess this could have been a tie, uh, you could also put in Rosasi House because that's gonna come in at around the same price when it is kind of in stock in a normal market around $39, $40, 100 milliliter, which would fit, but I did feature that in my top 10 summer designer fragrances list, like my main one, so I didn't want it to be redundant, but you could sneak that one in here as well. Just take your pick depending on what you prefer. Legend Spirit is still really nice though. Uh, what I like about this one is the focus on lavender is a bit stronger here in this one uh, compared to most other Invictus Aqua style smelling fragrances. And so it makes it a little bit more clean, uh, less focus on the sweetness. So maybe more appropriate for a, a warmer day uh, or maybe just you know more appealing for someone who doesn't like that bubblegummy sweetness that you get from most of the Invictus Aqua type fragrances. This one's a bit more clean and fresh, and so that's kind of why I like it. Next up at number nine, we have Halloween Man Hero. Pretty cool looking bottle on this one, nice gradient. Uh, the gradient is more pronounced in pictures, so when you get your bottle in, it may throw you off. That's kind of more what it really looks like. Still pretty cool look though. It's got C notes, grapefruit, ambroxan. Uh, this one's gonna be very mass pleasing and definitely more generic leaning for sure. There's nothing new or exciting about this, but that's kind of what I like about it. You know, it it's just, it's simple, but it works. You know, it's got, I believe it's Amber Extreme in this one maybe instead of Ambroxan. I could be wrong though, but that's kind of uh, their compound of uh, an Ambroxan note. It still kind of achieves the same thing here. Another one that's still very clean, fruity, bright, citrusy, and very, very wearable. And it comes in at a low cost, being that it is a Halloween man, typically $30, $35, maybe pushing 40, depending on just the day, pretty much. Uh, so right around in that range, you know, very easy to get your hands on it. Number eight, one I don't have unpacked yet, but it's Low 2 Kenzo by Kenzo. Grapefruit, bitter orange, and spruce are some of the main notes. Huge fan of this stuff. Kenzo has some very impressive fragrances uh, at a low cost. Uh, this being one of my favorites. Uh, very, very uh, photorealistic, authentic grapefruit note for a cheap price, but it's not as overbearing as something like a, a light blue forever or light blue Italian love. I know that grapefruit note can be uh, very polarizing and so it's not like that. This one's much more mass pleasing. It's a lot easier to like, I would say, uh, whether you are an experienced collector or someone that is new. The spruce note is pretty unique. It gives it this nice woody twist that you don't normally get from like a, a citrus fragrance in this category. I want to say 30, 35 for 100 mil as well. Definitely on the affordable side and again, one of my favorites. Now, if you want something mature, I would highly recommend you go with something like this, Aqua Essenziale Colonia by Ferragamo. So Ferragamo, they are 
really good at making some high quality, solid scents a lot of times for a cheap price, depending on what you get. Like the Ferragamo Womos can kind of start to creep up there into the mid range, uh, but a lot of their stuff will fall down more towards this side of things. And I wanna say these Aqua Essenziales can go for like 25, maybe a bit less sometimes, maybe a bit more as well, but kind of in the $20 range, um, which is really, really solid. Testers do not come with the cap, one thing to be aware of there. And I do think you can also find these at like rack stores and stuff like that often for a good price as well. So these are really easy to get. Bergamot, C notes, and clary sage are just gonna be a few of the notes in here, along with the nice lavender. Um, this one was made by Alberto Marias. He did the entire line. Uh, Aqua Cinziale Blue is another one that's popular. Nice, cheap blue fragrance, but kind of prefer this one just for a, a uniqueness standpoint. Really, really nice bergamot note that's tart and sour and juicy and very high quality. I mean, it packs a punch and it could rival some much more expensive citrus fragrances. Uh, to me, the bergamot is kind of similar to that being used in something like Zerzhov Neo. Not comparing the two quality wise or, or even really scent wise, but the bergamot itself. Similar in that instance where it is tart and vibrant and juicy and it really gets your attention. This is one of those feel good fragrances for me. Like just smelling that right now, it's still kind of early in the morning. It just puts me in a good mood, man. Just that brightness, and that kind of tart punch. It just makes me feel like uh, happy. It makes me feel like I'm in the summer mood and it's kind of like a little wake up call. Kind of like, you know, getting that first cup of coffee in the morning, you get that caffeine going. It's kind of what this can do for you as well. Really low price, but a really high quality scent. This one here is really good. Next up, we have Kenneth Cole Mankind Legacy. So usually the Kenneth Cole brand doesn't get brought up a whole lot. Like you don't hear too many people saying, oh, I can't wait uh, for the new Kenneth Cole fragrance to come out, right? Um, it's not like uh, really most of the other brands in this for the most part where there can be some sort of anticipation, but they do have some, some solid scents for affordable prices. Pretty much the whole brand is gonna be in that cheapy category. This one here is really nice. Balsam fir, amyris, orange, and cedarwood are some of the main notes. So they're utilizing some things that are a bit out of the ordinary, which is cool to see. And so it kind of has a little bit of a slight dusty, powdery undertone, but still a lot of a freshness, a fruitiness kind of from that orange. It's not too strong of an orange note, it's more dialed back. And then uh, just nice general woods, cedar wood that's not too spicy or sharp or dry either. It just creates a very pleasant, wearable scent, something that any guy could pull off. And I think most people would, at the minimum, at least like, you know, it, it's just very likable. Not something that will probably blow most people away, but in this instance, you really don't need it to. It's just something that's pleasant, it's cheap, it's easy to spray on uh, for what it's worth. The bottle, the presentation, to me, is really nice and classy. Something that would just look professional sitting there. Uh, all around, it's a really nice package for a low price. We're gonna go over to this one next, Rojas Loam. So this one has really crept down in price, finally to the cheapy category. And I remember when this was at like 50 or $60 for, uh, what is this, 125? Um, no, just 100 mil, uh, 50, 60 bucks. And at that price point, I was still so impressed with it. And I'm like, yeah, this is great for 50 or $60. Now what's crazy is you can get this one for sometimes $28, $29 if you get a tester, maybe 32, 33 for full presentation. To me, that's that's insane. It really does shock me because when you smell this one, you will notice the quality right off the bat. You'll notice just kind of the uniqueness and the blend. Everything is really nice, it fits together well. There's a lot of dimension to this one. And to, like I said, to me, it's just very impressive. Grapefruit, juniper berries, pineapple. It's gonna be more aromatic leaning here. so not gonna be everyone's first thought with the summer fragrance, right, I understand that, but for me, it is one that I do like to wear in summer when it's hot outside like it has been here recently. Even though it has just the aromatics, the woods, even a tiny bit of a sweetness, it still works well. It opens up, it develops, and it's something that I enjoy. Wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea. There's a lot of other things in here that are much more summer forward, I guess, or more stereotypical summer fragrances. But if you want something just a little bit out of the ordinary for summertime, check this one out. At this price point, you cannot go wrong. 
And also with that Rojas, it's a little bit more mature as well, kind of like Aqua Senziale Colonia. So for my guys out there who are a bit older and don't want something playful and bubblegummy, give that one a shot. And next up, I believe this is t number three, uh, four, number four, uh, Ferragamo Free Time, or F, what is it? F by Ferragamo Free Time. So there's F Black, which is really good. I love that one. And then F Free Time. Ferragamo kind of has a weird naming convention sometimes, like Ferragamo, Ferragamo, their whole line there. It's a little bit confusing, but I'll put a picture up and you guys know what I'm talking about anyway. Lemon, ginger, vetiver, some of the main notes. Nothing crazy, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary here. It's very simplistic, but yet very wearable, especially for the price. You know, like I just mentioned, I'm a big fan of F Black. I love the pepper, the lavender, this very commanding, masculine, strong smell. I think that stuff is awesome. And free time is just kind of a nice summer variant or just a warmer weather variant. Again, at the price point, it's one that I find myself just really enjoying. Alrighty, breaking into the top three now, fragrance that I have a ton of love for. It is Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's. So this one has salt, lime, tequila. If that doesn't sound like a summer vacation scent, I don't know what does. I've had this one for a long, long time. I mean, basically just about since the beginning of my collection, um, it kind of shows it. You know, this is one where even if I'm not spraying it on my skin, I'm spraying it in the room as a room freshener, like when we're on vacation. I'll spray our, our beach towels or my, my t-shirts and stuff. It's one of those fragrances where I just like the aroma of it. And of course, that sounds stupid because we all like the aroma of fragrances, right? But what I mean by that is it doesn't necessarily have to be on my skin for me to enjoy it, you know? I mean, when you think that you like the smell of a candle, that doesn't mean you want to rub the wax all over your skin and smell like the candle, right? You just like the smell. That's kind of how this is, you know? It's it's so far away from your typical cologne, you know, where it's just musk and masculine and, and all that type of stuff. And it's so far in the direction of literally smelling like, you know, uh, a margarita or something, or just sitting on the beach sipping some sort of alcohol, whether it be just tequila and lime or, or some variant of that. It's just so far in that direction where I just like the smell of it. And so if I can spray things around me and have it stay on those those you know objects for a while, that's what I'm all about. And don't get me wrong, of course, I still like to wear this one as well. I'll usually load down on it pretty heavily because it's not a good performer. If I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna be doing you know a good 10 sprays or so, maybe even more, and I make sure to get my clothing as well. It's just a fun, carefree, happy fragrance. This stuff is really nice. It's $20 for 100 milliliter. Everyone, and I repeat, everyone should have a bottle of this on hand, trust me. Number two, Mercedes-Benz Select. I just had to. Aventus Clone, Black Current, Bergamot, um, Birch Woods. Now, what I like about this one is the Black Current and Apple is so, so strong. This is uh, one of my favorite Aventus clones just for the opening alone. Now, you know, you've got the whole pineapple vintage line, which is more expensive, but then also like Armov Club de Nuit Intense Man, the Parfum, which I really like. But none of the clones that I have have an opening like this one. Uh, and some batches of Aventus, this even has a better opening than the real thing. I mean, I can just smell this all day. I can burn through this bottle just smelling the opening. I really could. That apple black currant and, and bergamot is so vibrant. Like it, it just opens up with such a strong blast of fruits and a bit of sweetness to where it's seriously impressive, especially for the price point. You're looking at what, $30 range or so for a 100 milliliter? Testers of these do not come with the cap either, which is kind of lame because I think these bottles look, uh, you know, kind of horrendous without a cap. It really ties it together, but you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, point is, still affordable and impressive stuff, especially that opening, man, you'll be hooked right off the first spray. And at number one, one of my personal favorites, I'm sure you guys know what's coming, it's Hugo Boss Reversed. It's summertime, I'm gonna feature this one. We've got grapefruit, vetiver, rosemary, bergamot, ambroxan. Even though they don't list ambroxan, when you've smelled this one a good number of times, I mean, you pick up on it. Nice sparkle, uh, 
you know, kind of that ambroxan, sparkly, bubbly, kind of fizzy, slightly sweet smell. You guys know it. Smelled it in just about everything at this point. So it's in there, I do, I do think. Uh, very aromatic, heavy, you know, with the rosemary and that sort of thing. Nice opening with the grapefruit bergamot combo. It's not too sour or strong, though. It's relatively mild. Uh, this one does give me an Elysium feel. Not saying it's a clone, because I do think that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, and I don't even know if it's actually inspired. It very well could be. I don't know what the brand was thinking, but I do know that the way the vetiver and the grapefruit comes across, which is two very prominent notes in Elysium, and the aromatics, which Elysium also has a ton of aromatics, it gives me a similar feel. Now, there are clones of Elysium out there. Again, I don't think this is one of them, so don't buy this for that. But if you want maybe a scent that represents kind of a similar feeling that Elysium gives off, I would wholeheartedly recommend this one, especially for the price point. Uh, it can be all over the place, depending on the availability of it. Uh, I reached out to the brand a while back and um, they said they just were behind on stock and were trying to get more out there or something along those lines I featured in the video. So they are still making it. Um, you know, if you're lucky, 30 bucks, 35, 40 bucks, somewhere around in there, perfect price point. I would pay 50, 60 for it. I've done that before. That's how much I like it. But ideally, get, get it in that $40 range. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. My top 10 cheap summer fragrances for this year. All great stuff here. If you're on a budget, check these out. And I will provide links down below. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.